All right, this Fred Burrow. Swift Plumbers. You can see I'm testing out the overflow here. I filled this tub all the way up. This is a twist and turn. Pull up, pull up, turn it. That'll make it stay up. We filled it all the way up to that point just to show that the overflow was free of leaks right there that we installed. We installed this and the trip waste on the back down to the trap, adapting to the cast iron with the fern co. We are cleaning up. We're going to put some that in here. I'm going to show you we have no leaks down here. Everything's looking great. We should have wiped that pipe though, Andrew, before I did the video right there. Get a towel and wipe that down. Let's see? Okay. Wipe that all up. This is draining great. So that's that. I'm going to do a final one. And on that final video, what I'm going to show is this drain will keep up with the shower. Right now, you may not realize how great it's draining, but it's a full tub, so it's going to take a while for it all to go down. I'll show you one This, if you want to unscrew this completely, you can, but if you get hair in the drain, you're going to end up with the same problem you had before. But if you pull up hard and turn this, you can take it off just these threads keeping it in so when you push it back in you got to push it down and turn it I'm gonna go ahead and keep this video going because I want to show how nicely this is going down Andrew, I'm going to have, uh, I've got two more spins on this. I'm going to put, uh, I never completely tighten that down. This, uh, uh, yeah, I just got an adjustment there to make. I'll make that before the final video, and then we'll uh, clean up, do the cement. Hey, Kristen, talking to your boy, Skittles. He says hi. Say hi. Hello. Hard to show how great this is draining because we had it so full. Yeah. Anytime you fill a tub up, it's hard to tell it's moving. Yeah. Until it gets to the end and you see the swirl and you hear the. <laughs> so we're just going to have one long video here. The final video will be shorter. What I'll do, and you know, the important thing to understand is this drain should keep up with the shower head. That's how you know if you have a slow tub drain. Mm -hmm. It's never going to keep up. It's never going to instantly drop. You're going through an inch and a half trip waste and overflow right there. But it should keep up with your shower head. Unless you got a shower head pouring out water like a spout. It'll never keep up with that spout. I'm going to need them tools back in. Oh, yeah, you got it? Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust that before we do that final video. Oh. You hear that? Not very exciting. But it's about to get exciting. This is the cliffhanger we've been waiting for. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, uh oh, oh. There she goes. Now, before we got here, 
you couldn't even run the shower for when I got here the shower we didn't even turn the water on and water was sitting in this so there was zero drainage but that's because that old trap box trap was full now this drains so well it just about even keeps up with now when I put when I put this back on, it's going to restrict that some, isn't it? It's going to make that hole smaller. But this is just to show how great that drain moves. I'll show you how this should operate with the shower head running, and it should keep up with that. And we're going to do that on the final video after we clean up, after we cement, and after we make that adjustment we had you down there. I just wanted to show. Look at that. Beautiful. Skittles out.